はーい<笑>
hand-dyed yarns and you love the effects. If you are a knitter or a weaver and you want to have more control over uh, the things that you create and you want to make completely original things, um, you, we can, you can do our Zoom dye class, which will be held on the 28th of January. And so what happens is we will send you a kit and within that kit there's everything that you need to start. You'll have all your uh, safety equipment, masks and gloves. You'll have yarn, dyes, full instructions, um, citric acid. And then on the day we'll film it and you can ask questions as we go along. You can dye, um, we'll do some microwave dyeing but dyeing in a pan as well and things like that. So you can start to create your own range of hand dyed yarns as well and have complete control of that. So if that is something that you think that would be of interest to you, you can have a look on the website or you can um, you can message us and um, and we can take it from there. So that's our that's our range of hand dyed yarns. Can I pass that to you? Okay. Um, but what we also uh, teach as well is spinning and so uh, for people who maybe if you're a um, somebody who's got a, a small holding or access to sheep um, alpacas or maybe you you've got a, a dog and you want to spin the dog fair or maybe it is that you are a spinner or weaver and that you want to produce something is that is completely original and do the process from start to finish spinning is something that you would absolutely love so we in our in-person uh, classes we will come to you we've got spinning wheels we we teach with ashford traditional spinning wheels and we will take take you through the process from f fleece preparation and carding and then spinning you'll spin your own your own skein of hand dyed yarn and a beginner's skein of hand dyed yarn looks a little bit like this so you can see that it's all it's like art yarn all lumpy and bumpy and for weaving that looks absolutely beautiful textured weaving and um, is, is a, you know it's always absolutely lovely so we do that with you we also got um, a online an online beginner spinning class which is that far off from being being ready so we're actually taking pre bookings and we have we uh, promising that it will be ready on the 5th of December so we'll send it out to you then so some people have wheels that they think that they um they have not a clue what how to start with well our online workshop which is exactly the same as the in-person workshop will talk you right through that um so um uh oh yes and so along with that um we also have follow-up classes so if you're already a spinner um you could then do one of our follow-up classes which is we teach woolen spinning, worsted spinning and long draw spinning. Uh, so we're happy for you to come up to us. We realise that a lot of a lot of you here aren't from the northwest. So if you're around there, I don't know, in the lakes or um, a bit further afield, North Wales, or, we are happy to come to groups. We can put our six wheels in the back of our car and we'll come and teach you where you are if you get a, get a group together. We'll go as far as Birmingham. <laughs> That's our limit. But yeah, we, we we're happy to come come out and uh, follow you. So so uh, send us send us a message about that. Now, along with um, that, we do we have some uh, tools for spinners as well. So I've got just an example here. These are called needy noddies. And these are what spinners use to measure their their yardage and also to put their hand spun yarn into a skein. So we've got our Niddy Noddies here and these are handmade by a friend of ours who's an engineer called Jim and he, we've got about 14 or so I think on the website at the moment. Every single one of them is completely original. So he uses reclaimed or sustainable uh, wood sources and so we've got just two of them here. Some of them are like two, two tones, some of them are plain. They're very light as well. So if you are a spinner and you're used to uh, put, using an itty noddy for um, lace weight, what you don't want if you're if you're winding your your yarn, you don't want a heavy nitty noddy because your arm gets tired very quickly. And so one of the things that Jim made sure is that the wood he uses is really light. You can also take them apart for when you go into guilds or spinning groups. And if you are in and around. The Northwest, we do have a spinning group, Lazy Kate Spin Club, which meets on the 
the first Tuesday of every month and we meet in um, a place called Newborough which is just off Junction 27 on the M6 so easily accessible and it's a lovely group of ladies we meet in a pub support your local pub and um, and we meet there for the day and people bring their weaving or their knitting it's not exclusively that it has to be spinning and you can come and go so there's no pressure um, just pop in or stay for the day and um, it's free it's free there's no um, there's no joining joining fee so you'd be welcome to come along if you're looking for a little community uh, for your spinning and weaving to join into as well so just one last thing we are very excited about this is uh, we are launching today for for Yorkshire Yarn Fest our lovely aprons so these are spinners aprons so if you are a spinner you'll know that you get covered in fluff just all the time and if you're spinning something like silk it's everywhere you know you'll need an apron on but these aprons have got a yarn gauge on them so I'll just see if you can see that here so the yarn gauge is there on your knee so instead of having a tool that you're constantly looking for or if it's attached to your wheel you're knocking it all the time the yarn gauge is there on your, on your knee so as you're spinning your singles or your plied yarn you can just rest your, your, your yarn on your knee and then see how you're doing and keeping your, your yarn consistent and so we find that it's really well I do find it really really helpful in that case because I don't have it just makes everything so easy and in terms of keeping consistency in your yarn which is something that you know obviously spinners want to do you know it helps make that easier so what we want to do at Lazy Cake Textiles is we want to help you to take whatever you do further. So if, you, if you're looking to inspire yourself, then come and have a go at dyeing on our workshops or, or have a go at, at spinning or weaving. All these things, complete beginners come to us all the time and uh, we want to keep these, these crafts alive, don't we? Um, so give us a follow we've got on our website we've got you can sign up to our newsletter and then we'll tell you when new workshops are um, are going to be uh, going to be introduced or we're going to add to our online workshops all the time and um, it's been really lovely to be part of this this is our first one isn't it yeah <laughs> so that's that's been brilliant thank you very much for everybody for uh, for listening to us and um, yeah have a great rest of your day bye, bye.